Hey, what's going on guys? Today I got something going on I hope y'all will enjoy. Um, I'm heading to Roanoke, Virginia to uh, pick up a, uh, a car. Um, I'm not sure how... I'm not sure uh, exactly what the car is going to be used for. I'm kind of thinking this video is going to be how to have a Volkswagen Beetle on a budget. Um, I won't know exactly, excuse me, I won't know exactly uh, what it'll be until I go see the car. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be how to build a Volkswagen Beetle on a budget. So, um, I got a pretty, pretty long journey in front of me. Let me see if I can punch in the address. Okay, guys, what we're picking up today is a 73 Super Beetle. Yellow, slight fire damage. Um, it's in Roanoke, Virginia. It's, a uh, quite a haul. Um... But it's 350 bucks, and I think I can fix it. So uh, that's that's what we're going for. Budget bill, 73 Volkswagen Beetle, Super Beetle. All right, guys. First gas stop, 56 dollars, and I went 145 miles. Um, I don't think it was fully filled up. Um, so I tripped the odometer. It's on zeros. I've got a full tank of gas. Let's see what happens. 145 more miles to go. 141. All right, guys. Supposedly I'm here and I see it. I'm here. I made it. Now I just need to wait for Taylor and John. So, you have reached your destination. Thank you, Tommy. All right, guys, so we picked up the Beetle. We're going to move and, quickly. Okay, yeah. Uh, I, I, anyhow, I, I sold this interior to a buddy of mine. Um, um, so anyhow, here's the Beetle. What do y'all think? A little bit of fire damage on the back. back glass is busted out of it but this is the beetle so the beetle was 350 bucks the interior is being like sold and swapped for a hundred so it's the 250 dollar beetle yes and it's only yes. a little bit a little crusty. charred a little crusty It'll be fine yes it is um how do you say frame flame broiled <laughs> So, this could be the uh, fire sale. Yes. See what you did there. That's good. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm not sure about this. Really? Should we make a jump to Lamborghini? No, no. Don't want <laughs> to mess it up, man. It, that thing would crush that thing. All right. This is what we do when we're not building go carts. Just kidding. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> that was actually kind of cool. <laughs> All right, we gotta we gotta do another iteration here. Okay. Make it better. Okay. Okay. But then it's still like a platform. It'll clear we'll it. It'll clear it. I guarantee. All right. We always got these stairs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it'd be cool if we mounted the camera to the car. Ooh, yes. Oh, that would be sweet. We should do that. Yes. That was pretty neat. All right, let's get some tape. We're going to tape the camera to the car. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. This is how they do it in Hollywood, folks. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's great. We're so cool. <laughs> Eric, your turn. Okay. Red jump. Here we go. So guys, I had a good time with Taylor and John. Um, I've got the car. And uh, I'm heading back home with it. 275 miles. Um, yeah, so I'm leaving now. As you can see, I'm leaving. Five something hours. It's a long drive. All right, guys, I just filled up again. Uh, 280 miles on the trip odometer. And I'm gonna trip it again, so 280. And I'm gonna do the math on, hold on a second, let me merge off the traffic real quick. All right, guys, I figured out the fuel mileage on uh, pulling the trailer uh, the whole way one way and partially back and having uh, mountains involved. What do you think this thing gets per gallon? How many miles to the gallon? I figured it out. 10 miles to the gallon. Uh, honestly better than I thought it was gonna be so 10 miles a gallon you see the beetle back there just humming along doing good I've already had a couple of people ask about it so yeah I'm uh, I'm over by Winston-Salem right now as we speak all right guys I'm here at the shop and I'm gonna look at this engine and see how bad it is so I'm going to start pulling all this uh, stuff off, uh, turn the engine over. I, I really want to see this engine make a complete revolution. Alright guys, let's see if the engine is stuck. That sounds good. It's made a full revolution. And it's got compression. It's a good sign. So I'm going to finish uh, cleaning this thing up and uh, then I'll have to uh, go through my stuff and see uh, see what all I can find to put on, put on this thing.
take, but I got to take it off anyways to replace those seal, the seals, so it'll be all right. <laughs> Look at this carburetor. She is burnt slam up. Guys, the more I dig in here, the just the better it's looking. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Everything's coming out and just looking fine. All that stuff. Burnt rubber, plastic. Oh man, it's looking so good. Man, oh man. I'll have this thing running next week. Just got to order some parts for it. All right, guys, I'm at the O'Reilly's. I picked up some clear coat, and I'm going to throw some clear coat on this to keep it from rusting so much. Just trying to keep it from rusting up too much. So anyhow, there it is, clear coated, sealed up, hopefully it won't rust. I'll probably hit it some more a little bit later, um, yeah. So that's going to be it for this video on my 73 Super Beetle. Um, let me know what y'all think I should do with it. Um, my plan is to just get it running and driving and see what happens, but y'all let me know. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all later.